Good day everyone, I'm Melji Dibukobo, Level 3 Student Nurse of Novi CI University of Science and Technology, PSN 3C. And for today's video, we're going to do providing tracheostomy care. For the goal, the patient exhibit a tracheostomy tube and side free from drainage, secretions, and skin irritation or breakdown. The equipment, check for bedside table, towel, tracheostomy suction supplies, sterile tracheostomy kit if available, or two sterile 4x4 in gas pads, sterile cotton tip applicator, sterile tracheostomy dressing, and sterile basin, small sterile brush, small brush, roll of dry tape, tracheostomy ties or tracheostomy holder, scissors, pulse oximeter, stethoscope. And clean gloves, mask, goggles, face shield, hydrogen peroxide, and PNSS or sterile water. For our implementation, first we need to bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or over bed table. Next is perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. and put PPE. Next is identify the patient. So, good day sir. I'm Merja D. Bukobo, your student nurse for today. Uh, pwede ko po ang marahan ang pangalan nyo? Lantaon na po kayo? Okay po, thank you. Close curtains around the bed and close the door to the room if possible. Next is determine the need for tracheostomy care. Sa nurse, kailangan natin i-identify or i-check kung kinakailangan na ba natin mag-perform ng tracheostomy care sa uh, pasyente natin. So, titignan muna natin yung uh, drainage. Check natin yung drainage. Kung madami na siya, is pwede na tayo mag-perform ng tracheostomy care. So, kung alam naman natin sa sarili natin na kapapalit lang natin kanina ng tracheostomy, pero nakita natin na may mga secretion na siyang lumalabas na medyo madami na. Kung sa tingin natin is important at kailangan ng mag-perform ng tracheostomy care, do so. Next is explain what we're going to do and the reason to the patient. Even if the patient does not appear to be alert. So, kailangan natin i-inform yung pasyente kahit na ito ay unconscious or conscious. Kasi deserve nilang malaman kung ano yung gagawin natin sa kanila. So, good day ulit, sir. I'm here to provide your tracheostomy care. Tracheostomy care is done to keep your tracheostomy clean. Makakatulong din ito para ma-prevent natin yung flag tube or para ma-decrease natin yung risk ng infection. Also, itong tracheostomy care is makakatulong para ma-clean natin and ma-remove natin yung secretion from the airway. And to more easily, para mas madali and usually more safely, ma-deliver yung oxygen Salam. Next is adjust bed to comfortable working position. Usually elbow height of the caregiver, lower side rails closer to you. If the patient is conscious, place him or her in a semi fowler's position. If the patient is unconscious, place him or her in the lateral position facing you. And move over bed table close to your work area and raise to waist height. Next is we need to check the lung sound. So, yes, call take natin siya. Next is place the towel below the trachea site covering the neck and chest of the client. So, ito.
put on face shield or goggles and mask, suction tracheostomy if necessary. If tracheostomy has been suctioned, remove soil side dressing and discard before removal of gloves used in performing suctioning. Next is prepare the basin and cleaning solution. Mix sterile water and SS and H2O2 in one basin 50-50. Be sure it will be filled 0.5 inch of the basin. So let's start. Sterile water muna. And then itong H2O2. And then another PNSS and another basin that will fill at least half inch. Next is perform gloving. So after gloving, let's proceed to the cleaning of the tracheostomy. First, we need to remove the oxygen source if one is present. Stabilize the outer cannula and face plate of the tracheostomy with your non-dominant hand. Next is grasp the locking mechanism of the inner cannula with your dominant hand. Press the tabs and release lock. So let's start. Next, gently remove inner cannula and place in the first basin with PNSS plus H2O2. Let it submerge there for a few minutes. So, alisin na natin siya dahan-dahan. So, sir, alisin ko na po inner cannula nyo. So, nakuha na natin siya. So, ilalagay na natin siya sa PNSS and H2O2. Submerge na natin. habang hinihintay natin itong unang solution is puta muna tayo sa pag-aalis ng dress. So, get to slide the tracheo pad or dressing downward and discard. Pag-aalis ng pad or dressing, kailangan natin hawakan ito sa magkabula and slide natin siyang dahan-dahan. After natin ma-remove itong dressing or yung tracheo pad, is discard na natin. Then, after natin ma-discard yung uh, pad, check for some exudate or drainage, skin breakdowns, irritation, and implementation. So, check natin yung surrounding niya. So, pag may nakita tayo yung exudate, irritation, or skin breakdown, is kailangan natin siya lumisin. Next, clean the inner cannula of the taker tube using the prepared PNSS plus H2O2 and use brush to remove solidified or sticky mucus. So, after natin maalis yung pad at ma-assess natin yung exudate, exudate uh, skin breakdown, irritation, implementation, lipat na ulit tayo dito sa inner cannula. Assess na natin itong inner cannula kung may namumuong secretion. Kung meron, dito napapasok yung tinatawag natin sterile brush. Sa paglilinis nito, uh, dito natin i unang ipapasok sa pinakabulo. So, ganyan lang paglilinis niya. Make sure na maalis natin yung mga namumuong secretion. So, after natin ma-brush at nakita natin na meron pa rin na mumuong secretion is ibabad ulit natin siya dito. So, after nyan, after ma-submerge ulit is i-check ulit natin, i-assess ulit natin kung meron pang natitira. Then, pag nakita natin na wala nang secretion, wala nang mumuong secretion is uh, ang susunod natin gawin is rinse using the second basin with PNSS and D. So, ibabad na ulit natin siya dito. PNSS only lang tong nakalagay dito sa second basin. 
So, bago nga pala natin siya ilipat dito sa second basin, uh, siguraduhin muna natin na wala na siya na mumuang secretion at dito na napunta lahat ng mga secretion. So, make sure na malinis na ito bago mapunta dito sa PNSS. Discard gloves and put another gloves if necessary. Kung pan okay pa naman at wala na masyadong glucose or medyo malinis pa is okay. So, after natin mababa dito sa PNSS, kunin na natin siya at i-dry natin itong inner cannula using the stereo gas or pad. So, sa pagda-dry, tap-tap lang. Tap, tap, tap. Make sure na tuyo natin siyang ipapasok doon sa tricostomy. So, ayan. Okay, nasigurado na natin siyang tuyo is next procedure natin is gently i-insert it back to the tracheostomy tube and be sure it is properly locked. So, sir, re-insert ko na po ulit yung inner cannula nyo. Next, deep cotton tip, applicator or gas sponge and cup or basin with sterile saline and clean stoma under paste plate. Use each applicator or sponge only once, moving from stoma side outwards. Itong cotton tip applicator natin is pwede siyang dip dito sa second basin which is yung sterile saline lang naman yung laman. Or meron pa tayong isang technique. Itong sterile water is buhusan natin siya on track. After yan, isin natin itong nasa taas. Then, pag nalinis na natin, mag-iba tayo ng applicator. Kunin natin yung isa. Same procedure lang din sa unang applicator. So, kuha natin. Tapos, lagyan ulit natin ng sterile water. Again, pwede din siyang i-dip dito sa second basin natin kasi sterile water lang din siya. So, sa pangalawa naman, sa baba. Next is pat skin gently with dry 4x4 sponge. So, tap-tap lang natin siya. Hawak tayo dito kasi kailangan natin siguro din na stable siya. And then, make sure hindi natin nabasa itong tie. Kasi, pag nabasa natin siya is, uulitin natin siya or maglalagay ulit tayo ng panibago. Next is, after natin madry, is a slight commercially prepared tracheostomy dressing or prefolded non-cotton filled 4x4 inch dressing under the paste. So, i-insert natin ulit itong panibagong pan. Insert na natin. Kung paano natin siya tinanggal kanina is, ganun din natin siya ikakabit. So, hawak ulit dito sa magkabila. And dahan-dahan natin siyang i-insert. Then ayusin po natin siya. After natin mailagay at maayos, alisin na natin itong towel. Check for the fit of the customy collar. You should be able to fit one finger between the neck and the collar. Check. Make sure that the patient can flex next comfortably. Then, reapply oxygen source if necessary. So, check natin itong tie kung comfortable ba yung pasyente natin. Kung maluwag ba siya or masyado. So, tingnan din natin na igay kung nabasa siya kasi yung, kasi pag nabasa natin itong tie, pwede siya mag-cause ng irritation sa skin ng pasyente natin. And then, after natin matapos yung tracheostomy care, uh, remove gloves na natin and then assist natin yung patient to the comfortable position. Raise the bed rail and place the bed in the lowest position. So, remove gloves na tayo. and discard natin. And then, assist natin yung patient sa comfortable position. So, back 
Then raise the bed rail and place the bed in the lowest position. Next is remove additional PP if used. Remove na natin tong mask. And discard natin. Then after that, perform hand hygiene. is documentation. I-document natin kung ano yung na-assess natin habang nag-tetrechiostomy care. So, after that, reassess the patient's respiratory status including respiratory rate, effort, oxygen saturation, and lung sound. So, so ascultate ulit natin yung pasyente. Check natin ulit yung lung sound niya. So, And that's all for the providing of regustomy care.